Here we be, doing more coupler work on our little train cars. I don't think I like the cut of your jib, matey. Uh, Arrgh. Hello Model Railroaders, this is Brian Page. I uh, just want you to know that opening was not my idea and that's all I'm going to say about that. So anyway, in my last video I was swapping out couplers and trucks to uh, from old Rapido to Microtrains couplers. And uh, in that video I was asking for ideas on how to possibly uh, do that with this caboose because it had molded on uh, couplers, old Rapido couplers on the bottom. I have cut those off and I have scraped out the bottom and my plan is to put screw on body mount couplers on the bottom of these. So I have, um, I got some couplers and I got a tap and drill set and let's see if I can make this work. Um, I got universal body mount short shank couplers and I also got a little drill bit and tap. I yeah, there they are. Um, aren't they cute? They're so little. And it just so happens that this tap actually does fit into a pin vise. Um, so that'll come in handy, and the drill will, the drill bit will too. So let's proceed. All right, I've tried to get the camera as close as I can to this stuff. Um, I don't know if the light is going to work. Let's try brightening that up a little. Uh, what I've done here is taken one of the, the couplers and I set it kind of in the middle of this floor right here. And I marked myself a couple of holes where I want those mounted. Uh, on both ends. So I'm going to, let's see, this one I drilled, let's see what I can do with this one. I don't know if this is going to show up very well in the video, but uh, here we go. I'm doing this with the pin vise so I don't waller out the hole too big. I need to tap it just just in case for that screw. I mean I realize it's going into plastic, but um, you know, just for the sake of doing things right, I'm going to tap it out. Okay, I've swapped out the drill bit for the tap. And I, you know, this is such thin plastic, I'm not sure this is really going to do anything uh, for us. But I'm going to tap it out anyway, just for grins. And see how that goes. Alright, there's one end. And there's the other end. I hope I did that straight. I think it'll be close enough. I think these screws actually would have tapped themselves in this plastic, but all right, let's see how it goes. Started screws into the little couplers. Hopefully you can see that. And now I'm going to attempt to get this put on. A handy dandy little screwdriver. I think I shouldn't have run this through all the way. Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to back the screw out a little. That might make it a little. Whoa, that might make it a little easier. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, got it started, anyway. 
Yeah, that's uh, some pretty small work here. And these are slotted screws, not Phillips, which I find kind of interesting. I guess on the universal body mounts, that's what they give you. Um, I'm kind of surprised by that because all of the other couplers that I've seen from Microtrains, it seems like, came with uh, Phillips head screws. Yeah, I'm having no luck at all. Ooh. I can't even get this screwdriver started. Interesting. There we go. Alright, I'm going to keep working at this. And... We'll see how much of this video footage I can actually use. Well, getting that coupler on and getting the screw put in uh, turned out to be a two-person job, I'll tell you what. Um, good thing I have three hands. So, um, you might notice here, since I'm kind of modifying this as I go along, the screw for the coupler is sticking straight up through to the floor on the other side. And what I'm going to do is get some trucks put on this thing so that I can find out if the coupler height's okay. Find out if I have to shim it. And once I get the height set, then what I will do is I will cut, cut that screw down. Uh, I think I'm having some focus issues here, but yeah, are we working here? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it's sticking up there, but like I said, if I need more spacing, I don't want to cut the screw short. So, let's check that next. Well, uh, the end result here is that I have the two couplers on. And it turns out I got one truck put on. This is a new Microtrains truck. I wanted to make sure that I did the height, uh, you know, judging by the newer equipment. And it turns out that the coupler height is perfect. So, yeah, it <laughs> turned out really good. Now, the bad news is, is that for some reason, the hole for the bolster hole back here for the other truck is wallered out. And I'm going to have to come up with a bigger pin to get that truck put on. So, um, let me look into that and get right back to you. All right, all. Um, I did some ridiculous modifications uh, to the bottom of this poor caboose to get the, <laughs> the other truck on. Um, yeah, I think you can see that. Uh, yeah, we won't talk about that anymore. So anyway, uh, since the coupler height turned out okay, let me get my glasses back on here. I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to flush cut these screws and hopefully they won't show up very much I think it'll be okay whoops I didn't get that one very well there we go um, did I loosen those nope I think they're okay actually the screws went into the plastic really tightly so I'm quite pleased with that this one's a little bit crooked but it's okay yeah um yeah screws went in real nice and tight into the plastic so i'm not worried about them falling out um i also have my little railings here let's see if i can get that into the hole and I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here, actually. I originally had thought about putting um, yeah, there's a little railing guy on there. Uh, is that focusing? Yeah. Okay. Get the one on the other side. I had originally thought about putting uh, 
trucks with, you know, uh, truck mounted couplers on this thing. But I think I mentioned this in the last video, I couldn't find them long enough. And I also realized that because of the fact that these trucks are mounted so far back from the ends uh, of, of the caboose that I would not have had very good turning uh, radius with these trucks, I think. Uh, the couplers would have been hitting the stairwells on each side. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of glad I did it this way. But, uh, yeah, those couplers turned out to be the right height and everything. So, I am very pleased about that. And let's see if I can get this body back on without crushing my ladders. That's a little off there. There we go. And there it is. The old 40-year-old caboose is whole again. Well, I hope I didn't bore anybody to death with that little operation. Um, but what we ended up with here was pretty good. Um, I have a 40-year-old caboose that now has microtrains couplers and microtrains trucks. And the couplers turned out to be the right height. Uh, I can't ask for anything better than that. So, as usual, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I will see you at the next stop.